China is the only major economy is expected to see growth this year. It's the biggest jump in GDP since China started keeping quarterly records in 1992. The strength and confidence comes from government spending, strong exports and early control of the COVID-19 pandemic. This is Zhengzhou, a city in central China. It's the site of the world's largest production base of Apple mobile phones. With 200,000 employees and 90 production lines, it turns out 130 million mobile phones, or 50% of Apple's global output every year. At no point in 2020 or 2021 was production here ever interrupted ensuring a timely supply of phones for Apple fans around the world. Throughout the pandemic, China remained a major contributor to global economic growth. In 2021, China's gross domestic product grew by 8.4 percent, the highest rate for a decade, surpassing both the IMF's forecast and the goal set by the Chinese government. Over the past five years, in spite of global instability, the pandemic and a domestic slowdown, China still managed to achieve average GDP growth of 5% annually. Today, we are thrilled to introduce our next generation of iPhone. Here it is. In September 2022, Apple launched its latest model, the iPhone 14 Pro. However, people soon found it was taking longer than expected to get their new phone. The reason was that the Foxconn factory in Zhengzhou had been shut down due to the pandemic. This was just a small part of the overall impact made by the Omicron variant, which was seriously interfering with China's economic development. However, now under the new COVID policies, the Chinese economy is quickly recovering. With the help of the local government, Foxconn's production base in Zhengzhou was able to resume output at its earlier peak level within a month. Shipments out of the factory have already reached 90% of their peak level in early 2022. The factory is staffed by a full complement of 200,000 employees who are on duty every day, and all its production lines are running at full capacity. In 2022, China's GDP surpassed 120 trillion yuan, or 18 trillion U.S. dollars, an increase of 3% year-on-year.